did it to the ear! Come on! Eeyore! Pooh! Are you okay? Gosh, that's too bad, Eeyore. After all that work. No matter. Most likely would have fallen down anyway. Well, I'll help you fix your house, Eeyore. Oh, hello there, Piglet. Thanks for offering. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun day, though. Well, hello, Piglet. And hello, somebody I don't know. Pooh, this is Eeyore. You know Eeyore, don't you? Um, I do? What could have happened to him? Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Pooh's tummy is so rumbly that it's making him forget. If we bring him some honey, he's sure to remember. Well, uh, I guess it's worth a try. Might work, but probably not. First, we gotta find some honey. If honey's what you're looking for, I know just the place. Follow me. Just splendid. This is the place I told you about. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. But doesn't that honey belong to someone?
Have just as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Pardon me, kind somebody, but do you know where I might find another smackerel or two of honey? Oh. Uh. <laughs> My tummy seems to be telling me there's some honey right in there. I'm stuck. Ah, uh, he still doesn't remember. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is, we better help him. Oh, yes, and quickly, too. Oh, stuff and fluff. One, two, three! You're okay now, Pooh. Well, I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Why, just, just look at him. He doesn't even remember who I am. <gasps> Perhaps it's all this blustery wind, or, or maybe he actually needs more honey. Or he's, he's sleepwalking and, and dreaming. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be, I hope that I get to the part where you invite me to lunch again very soon, Rabbit. That's right, you're always stopping by for lunch. <gasps> Wait, Pooh, you called me Rabbit. Well, of course, Rabbit. What about Eeyore? And did, do you remember Eeyore too, Pooh? Oh, hello there, Eeyore. It's ever so nice to see you today. Thanks for noticing me, Pooh Bear. And hello to you too, somebody I don't know. <sighs> well... At least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. Sora? Yes. Hello there, somebody I don't know. Eeyore told me Pooh wasn't quite himself. I thought this might be just what the poor dear needed. Yeah. I hope it'll make Pooh better. Let's take the wonderful things. The top of the minute of rubber. The butt of the minute of things. A present for me? <laughs> Why, presents are what Tiggers like best, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> but Tigger, that's not for you. Wait, Tigger! Oh, dear. Come on, let's go after him.
You remember me now, don't you, Buddy Bear? Well, I remember that bouncing always makes me hungry. All that bouncing and he still doesn't remember me? Well, then I guess bouncing's not the answer. It makes a tigger almost never want to bounce again. <laughs> oh, please be careful with that. Oh, sorry, little piglet, but Pooh not remembering me has me confused. I don't even feel like bouncing. Oh, but Tigger, I always thought that bouncing was what Tiggers did best. Pooh boy, <gasps> you remember me. You do remember your old buddy Tigger after all. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Oh well, perhaps I'll remember tomorrow.
I hope tonight goes well. So do I. But I wonder why he's so nervous. The master does have his shy side, you know. Tonight is very important. Oh, maybe we came at a bad time. Well, there's only one way to find out. Donald! Monsieur, Mademoiselle, please enjoy the evening. And of course, our honored guests are welcome too. A uh, welcome indeed. The organization! You don't know when to quit. Oh yeah, well, so yeah. Get out! Not tonight. I've come to take something you hold very dear. Yes, let your anger blow. Beast, we have to get rid of these guys first.
What's wrong? Please calm down. Calm down? <clears throat> you just had to have a party, didn't you? Don't you see what's happened? Hey, what's with you? The rose. My rose. What? That? He took it? But surely you can find another rose. Silence! You don't know anything! That's not fair, Beast. Don't take it out on Belle. It's not like she stole it. <sighs> I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. But... Belle... Sora... I want you to leave the castle. Look at me. Look. This is what I am. When you first got here, I tried to change. But I was only fooling myself. I can't be any different. I'll always be a beast. So I should live like a beast. With no one alone. Goodbye, Belle. You can't mean that. Oh, I think his mind's all made up. Yeah. Look, Belle, leave this to us. If we can get the beast's rose back, he'll calm down. Hey, Beast! <sighs> Leave me alone. Come on, you need to hear this. You used to be fearless. You would have given your life to save Belle. Don't you know what that meant to us? You gave us all courage! Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you should have kept some for yourself. I mean, are you really gonna throw your happiness away? The Rose is your only hope, isn't it? Well, it's the only hope for Cogsworth and the others, too. So don't throw away your last chance. Remember what it was like before Belle lived here? See? You can't give up. Not now. I know one thing. What? This castle belongs to me. Zaldin will never be welcome here. <laughs>